Just Sugar Rossi's back for a second season of the ABC sitcom Better Off Ted, playing a pit bull of a boss. But we all know what a sweet sweetheart she really is. So please welcome back the lovely and talented Portia de Rossi. <laughs> Here before in 2003, I believe it was. That long ago. Yeah, okay. that's what they tell me because it's a long time ago. Right. Um, and something happened that day. Tell the audience what happened. Well, he, what I can remember was I was sitting on this couch and I was in the middle of my segment. I was talking about arrested development. And then all of a sudden, the stage manager rushed out onto the stage and told us that we had to evacuate the building because <laughs> there was a fire. It was live. But get this, yeah. he was the, the most interesting part of this for me was that I, at the time, was very closeted and very, very afraid that one of you would ask me about my private life. So I was sitting here very nervous. Mm -hmm. and, and then, from what I remember, somebody maybe asked me something about my private life, or we were kind of getting into that realm. And then, like divine intervention, saved by the bell, saved by the, bell. <laughs> the alarms and you went didn't off, have to and I didn't, you didn't have to, to answer. Come out that day, but when did you come out? At what year was it? Oh boy, because um, that was 2003. It seems like you've been out a long time. Well, I guess most people knew for sure I was gay when I was with Ellen, because it's yeah. hard to yeah. be with Ellen and yeah. kind of. Uh, yeah, not let people know. So um, she'll shout it from the rooftops. She will. Yes, bless her. She will. And you know, so it took uh, it took me quite a while because you know I was one of those actresses who was very afraid that my whole mm -hmm. career would be over. Like if... we were just talking so about exactly. Yeah. So yeah. When you when what was your reaction to Meredith Baxter this week and how you think it'll affect her at all or if at all? Well, it's hard to say. I don't know if I'm going to be affected by it. Right now, I'm You're employed working. on a yeah. show and I love my show and I play a straight character. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I have uh, romantic interests on the show mm -hmm. with men, and it seems to be going okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can, the does. men will always <laughs> believe that a woman like you can be had by a man if they, she really wanted to, if he was really hot enough. That's the truth. When it's a guy, they can't accept it as easily. But every man is fantasizing, oh, Portia, she's not really gay. She would go for me. Well, my mother Why started out saying that, and then by the time I actually Wait, your mom got to the point you would where go for her, no, no, no. no. Oh. That, it's that a I fantasy. wasn't really gay. It's a fantasy that it was theirs. a phase, or that it right, wasn't. Right. I, actually, people didn't believe me for a really long right. time. Was, um, you, you and Ellen, you guys were married legally in 2008, so it's been 2000. So it's now yeah. it's a couple years. Look at that. That is so cute. That's and you say that being married has changed your life. Yeah. So how? Well, I think that you have to be married to know how different it is than just mm -hmm. being together with someone. It's, it's work, huh? No, oh, it's, it's not wonderful. work. <laughs> really? Actually, it's, oh. it feels a, like a very kind of calming, relaxing wow. thing. It feels... I think I'm going to have to turn because... <laughs> Was it the security of it, like knowing it's... that it's, there's commitment there? Yes, it's, and because of that commitment, I feel like... Um, we're just more of a team. We're mm. more kind of uh -huh. working for the common goal yeah. of us. And so, what's going to happen now? Because uh, next year, no, no, uh, Proposition Eight mm -hmm. is that going to change your legal standing as a married couple? No, it doesn't change doesn't the legality change. of our marriage. Right. Our marriage still holds, okay. but um, they were grandfathered in. It, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, but see, this is what's so horrible about it. Ellen and I were wanting to have a commitment. We were ready for for the, for that kind of, mm -hmm. of life. Mm -hmm. But for many people out there, many gay people who who have always wanted to be married, right. unless they were with their perfect lifetime partner, right. within those few months that it was legal, they don't have the option to be married anymore. And mm -hmm. that's what's so horrible about Proposition 8 passing is that it just takes away the people's right to have what you know everybody in this country should have because it's really not a religious issue or a moral issue, it's just simply a civil rights issue. And the fact that the majority can get to vote on the rights of a minority seems very un-American to me. I mean, it just doesn't seem like this is what that country is all the, about. Do you think the gay community mm -hmm. that, I'm not saying you represent them, but do you think that if they took the word marriage out and made it 
equal, everything, the same exact rights mm -hmm. that the gay community would st still want it to be marriage. For instance, like, okay, um, just, curious. just as an example of that tangibly, men and women. Women want all the rights of men, but they're not asking to be called men. Do you think maybe Joy's right? Maybe it is the, is it the word, or is that the word more well, important than the rights? No, of course the word isn't more important than the rights, yeah. but... Without the word, we don't have equal rights because everybody is allowed to be married. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every citizen of this country should have that right, that legal right to be married. And, and marriage, I think, actually, it, the word actually does mean something because, you know, people who see a gay coupling as like a, a lesser... Yeah. A, a lesser thing in society, mm -hmm. it can continue to be lesser yeah. than marriage when really it's the exact same thing exact same love exact same commitment mm -hmm. right um and love of family and yeah. well, you know no, we're glad you got to come on and be able to express your vo it's your viewpoint about this this is a good conversation i do want to turn it around a little bit to oh, sure. your show better off ted <laughs> um we we have this is an office comedy and you played the uptight boss veronica so we got a sneak peek of next week's season premiere take a look okay this is so funny <laughs> Now, this character, your character, Veronica, you are ruthless, you are scary, but yeah. you say this is one of your favorite roles. It's my favorite, favorite <laughs> character I've ever played because she's so, so insensitive and she yeah. just doesn't care what people think of her. And it's kind of the opposite of what I'm like in, in real life. Yeah. I'm always worried that I'm going to offend somebody or, you know, I'm worried what people are going to think. But um, Veronica can get away with anything and I just take it and run. I love it. It's so did. fun. Funny. It's a We're funny so glad. Show. We're glad you came by to even express your, your viewpoint. Okay. Thank you so much, nice. Portia. You can catch the season premiere of Better Off Ted Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. right here on ABC. And everybody's going home with a DVD yeah. of the first season. We're going to be right back.